So, you want to let me in on these diplomatic plans of yours? Well, first, I've got to do some intense training. I like to be fight ready before I try talking to people. Then you're going to take me to the faction leaders. What? All of them? No, dummy. One at a time. We'll start with Baxter. Already know what I'm going to say to that bastard. Oh, and all that shit about joining the fight at the Bastion or whatever? Sure, fuck it, I'm in. I'm pretty sure I'll end up regretting it, but... Hey. Baxter? You sure that's a good idea? Relax, it'll be fine. That's what you're there for. Thought you could take care of yourself. I can, you moron. But I'll never get past his fucking guards to talk to him if you're not there. Do you understand now? And just what are you going to say to him? Let me worry about that. Do your thing and get me in front of the Duke of Ateris. You'll find out then. Everything okay? Yeah, I guess. It's not complicated. We fight back or they kill us. Follow me. Good. I have to give Baxter one thing. Pitching his tents in the crater of all places is a sign of either bravery or outright stupidity. Barely any means of escape, but he's got a wall of idiots who'll put their asses on the line to stop that bag of shit getting caught. You're not worried Baxter might think this is the perfect opportunity to get rid of you? I'm not scared of him. You again? I gave you 20% of my take- Chance you've got a couple pieces of Alexa for me? Hey, where do you think you're going? I want to see the Duke. Oh, really? It's all right. So you're the asshole I've been hearing so much about. Thought you'd be taller. So you're Baxter, the Duke of Ateris. In the flesh. <laughs> now, what the hell are you doing in my city? I heard once upon a time you used to be in charge of the fort in Tavar. Is that true? Yeah, forever ago now. I'll tell you one thing. I'm not getting knocked off my throne again. If you're here to stir up shit, you've come to the wrong place, my man. Is that why you're here, instead of on your throne? You want to know why I'm not in my hall in the city center? Hector handles the day-to-day -day shit. He's my right-hand man. So, while he's doing that, I get to stay here and keep watch over what's really important. Like? Uh, making sure assholes like you don't try staging a coup or some shit. You've got a puppet on your throne so you could hide here in the shadows? You should shut your dumb face right now. I have no idea what you think you're doing down here. But I know how you operate. Jax. Wouldn't be the first time you worked a whole town up into a frenzy. How'd that end again? With the ruler being kicked out, right? I didn't mean to hurt anyone. Oh, boo fucking who. 
You think an empty apology and pretty words mean shit to me? Pathetic. I had nothing to do with the Berserkers taking over the fort. Logan, the former Duke of Tavar, was chased out of his own stronghold by an army of Adan warriors. Good to know. Thanks for that. But it's not like I'm gonna magically trust you now. You'll never be part of a faction. You've got no loyalty to anyone but yourself. And that's why you'll always be an outsider. You don't know anything about me. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe I'm wrong. But I've been around long enough to spot an asshole from a mile away. Fuckers like you are dangerous. I'm keeping an eye on you. You looking for new recruits to join the outlaws? I'm not looking for shit. Hector's in charge of that. He's my right-hand man. If you're paying tribute or have news from the outside, then I'm your man. For anything else, you can go fuck yourself. From what I've seen, a terrace is the only place the alien invaders haven't gotten to. You mean those dark hunks of shit that fell from the sky? Raining their hellspawn and whatnot on us? Huh. We've killed more than our fair share of those feral fucks. But they keep coming. <laughs> that shit's an endless plague. At least they haven't set up one of those towers in the crater. Not yet, but I'm not so sure it'll stay that way. Shit runs downhill right into our crater, so we're always the first to drown in it. What's your plan for dealing with the invaders? What do you think, shit for brains? Step one, we defend ourselves no matter what. Step two, there ain't a fucking step two. What else are we supposed to do? It's not just your problem. Wait a goddamn minute. Are you here trying to sell me some bullshit about working in sweet and blissful harmony with the Alves and the Berserkers and whoever the fuck? Please, spare me the sunshine and rainbows noise unless you want my boot in your ass. None of the other factions give a flying fuck about the outlaws, so they can all go fuck themselves. What was I saying? Just look at this rat's nest. Shitty food, shitty company, shitty shitheads. Do you want to go back? Not at all. It's great here. What do you think you're doing? There is no figuring you out. Huh. Well, aren't you a sight for sore eyes? You're Logan's twin sister, aren't you? How is that shithead? The herpes-laden motherfucker who took over my fort and threw me out on my ass forever ago. Yeah, sounds like Logan. So what? And before you ask, I haven't had shit to do with him in years. You wanna rip him a new asshole or three? Go right ahead. He's somewhere on the coast of Caracas. Thanks for the info, darling. But anyone with more than a brain cell knows where he is. The problem is getting to him before he sees you coming. I've sent some of my best fighters after that asshole, and he's ripped them to shreds. Yeah, he's a tough bastard. He sure is. So, what's new with you? By the looks of it, you've cozied up to the Morcons. You know, I don't have a Morcon gal in my stable. I always wondered how a freaky fanatic would be in the sheets. <laughs> hmm. And I always wondered what a man would look like after I cut off his dick. Touche. Well, you're basically useless to me, so if you don't mind, fuck off. Nasty's here on a mission from the Morcons. She needs to talk to you. I can speak for myself, thanks. Okay, Nasty. I'll listen. What in the ever-loving fuck do the Morcons want with me? It won't be long before the Vandals plow in this pathetic shithole of yours and wipe that smile off your smug face. 
<laughs> so, what are you doing hanging with this little shit? Uh... <laughs> you two are pretty fucking funny, you know that? Seriously, I haven't laughed so much in my whole fucking life. <laughs> I should rip your guts through your asshole for talking to me like that. <laughs> but you know what, you pathetic little dumb fucks? I think you've suffered enough. <laughs> you two should stick together. There's not a half a chance in hell of surviving without each other. <laughs> <laughs> you still hear shit for brains? <laughs> oh, <laughs> get the fuck out of here before I laugh myself to death. <laughs> I still can't believe you. <laughs> That could have gone better. Tell me about it. Should have punched him in the balls. So what happened to being diplomatic? Sorry, don't care. He deserved it. That asshole got on my nerves. It might be time to rethink this plan of yours. Can you grow a pair, please? I know what I'm doing. If you say so. So what's the next step of this brilliant scheme? You'll find out when I'm ready, jackass. Right now, I feel like getting in some combat practice. Well, let me know when you're ready. Oh, I will. Everything okay? Yeah, I guess. Honestly, you need to grow a pair. You show mercy, you die. What do you want now? I know you. Yeah? Yeah. You're Jax. You're that asshole from the north. You're the guy who wanted to enslave us all in the converters. That was a long time ago. But you're right. I am Jax. And? And I heard you're a pretty decent guy. Is that what you heard? Well, to look at you, I can hardly believe it. I mean, people talk all kind of shit about your feats. I wonder if they know how scrawny you really are. Okay, get it over with. What do you want from me? Maybe I just don't like your face. Maybe we should talk to your boss. I don't know. I don't think he'd be interested in your face either. I don't have time for this. Well, you're just gonna have to put up with it. Oh, fuck off. Yeah, I think I'm gonna smash your face in for free. Just so I can see what you're made of. Do you have to do that? Exactly Logan's best friend. You're a reasonable man. You got lucky this time. That's all. Maybe you should be a little more careful who you mess with in the future. I didn't think you had it in you for such a lightweight. Ain't no place in the crater for a guy like you. 
It'd be better for everyone if you just fucked off. You get a bonus or something for bitching out everyone you don't like? Don't matter what my job is. What I do here at the crater is my business. I think I'm gonna have another chat with your boss. Do whatever you want, as long as you're out of my sight. Where was I again? Oh, yeah. True. Those two dum-dums can't stand each other. But they're both too... You responsible for all this hospitality? I've got no idea what you're jabbering on about. Your meathead friend here is throwing his weight around. And? Bully's not a fan of outsiders. Especially bullshit gutter trash like you. Tough talk from a guy who lives in the junkyard. Hey, you take what you can get. No bullshit. Bully was under your orders, wasn't he? Look, I got a responsibility here. I can't let any old arrogant fucker stroll around here. I gotta know exactly the type of arrogant fucker I'm dealing with. Yeah, I got it. So, you got what you needed? I've sized you up pretty well. To be honest, <laughs> I expected better. I still don't trust you with a shit. You're a tricky bastard. You could be trouble for me if I don't keep a watch on you. So, since you already figured I sent Bully to try and kick your ass, I gotta give him a new job. Bully's gonna be on your ass like glue. Think of him as your official babysitter. He'll keep an eye on you and whatever bullshit you get up to. What shit is this? I gotta follow this asshole around. Hey, you said you wanted a field assignment again. Yeah, but that don't mean I wanna babysit some asshole all day. Quit your bitchin' and do it. I want you breathing down his fucking neck every second of every day. Assholes like you need to be watched. Closely. You got the tendency to break shit. And I hate surprises. Hate them. So Bully's gonna report everything. Every move you make, I'm gonna know. You take a shit. I'll know the volume and fucking consistency. Got it? There are worse things. Don't underestimate Bully. He's one of the best. So count yourself lucky. Bully can step in and save you when things get tough, you ungrateful little shit. All this protection for the low, low price of fuck all. Now shut the fuck up and get out of here. I've got my own shit to tend to. Shut your fucking mouth. I don't want to hear your shit. That's not how this works. If you're going to be following behind me, you can just help me out with the fighting. Maybe we can be comrades in arms. Otherwise, you might as well stay with your boss. Uh, you're an asshole. But it's not like I got a choice in the matter. You heard the Duke. I've got to follow you. So that's what I'm gonna do. So if you're already following me around, you can fight for me too. Well, you're kind of brave, but don't count on me saving your ass if shit heats up. We'll see when the time comes. Okay, let me tell you how this is gonna work. My companions have a central meeting point at the Bastion in Caracas. That means if we're ever separated, you go there. Look at you, ordering me around like some big shot. You're lucky I don't snap your neck right now. Any other gripes? Yeah, yeah, I got it. We're done for now. Stand by at the Bastion. Now shut your mouth and do whatever it is you do. I sort of like this city. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's covered with garbage and it stinks. But it kind of stinks like... like home. If you say so.